One of the most important and time-consuming duties of a Google Apps administrator is deprovisioning a user. In the deprovision process, an admin must properly transfer ownership of assets and groups, revoke user access, manage incoming email, as well as other important tasks. The deprovision user tool guides you through the best practices for deprovisioning a user on your domain. If you've begun the process of deprovisioning a user, you can view them all here. Let's create a new one. Select the user that you'd like to deprovision. Next, let's add an account executor. This is the person who is responsible for the user being deprovisioned, often a replacement for the person leaving or the direct superior. Let's get started. We can choose to hide Jamie from this directory. If you hide, the account will not be viewable by end users on the domain. If we do not want Jamie to access her account, we can reset the password. Next, we'll handle inbound mail to the account. An auto-reply can be used if you'd like people who email Jamie to be emailed back immediately with a message. This is similar to a vacation responder. We can set up an email delegate for Stacy so that she can access the inbox of Jamie. If you do not transfer doc ownership, any doc that she is the owner of will be deleted along with her account. So let's transfer ownership to Stacy using the control panel. This could be found in the control panel under Settings, Drive and Docs. Let's transfer these documents. Back in the Flash panel, let's transfer sites and calendars as well. The same goes for groups. Any group that she is the sole owner of will be deleted along with her account if you do not transfer ownership. You can choose to transfer only group ownership or ownership and membership as well. Let's check off the things we've completed and things we've yet to complete. You can also add a task. Please know that if you delete the user and do not have an archiving system in place like Postini, all the emails will be lost. If you'd like to archive this inbox, you can click on the link to be taken to Backupify. Let's suspend Jamie. Jamie will no longer be able to sign in and all incoming emails and calendar invitations will be blocked. Let's look through our progress. If you like, you can set up a calendar reminder to be reminded to delete the user. You can click save and exit to come back at a later time to finish, confirm and delete the user. If you're all ready, let's delete this user. You'll be prompted one more time and please know that this cannot be undone in Flash Panel. Once you're finished, a deprovision report will appear in your Google Drive. You can view this report by clicking here. If you have made a mistake and need to re-enable the user, not to worry. You have five days to do so. Enter the control panel and click on Organization and Users. Look for List and select Recently Deleted Users. Select the user you'd like to undelete and do so. You can assign it to a particular organizational unit as well. This process may take up to two hours. Back in Flash Panel, this user will not appear until you've synced your domain. If you have any questions about deprovisioned user, please visit support.bettercloud.com.